overview of uh, tableau server right so a tableau server administration administer as you know is uh, is the owner of the tableau server and he holds the user rights and all the uh, licenses right and next uh, so uh, this is the uh, general overview of uh, how the uh, uh, different uh, contents are uh, structured in, on a tableau server so mm -hmm. as a tableau ad, uh, tableau ad, sir, uh, tableau owner is the tableau uh, administrator who holds all the users rights and uh, license level and next uh, level uh, the intermediate level uh, is uh, sites okay so uh, the tableau server admin uh, he holds the top hierarchy and then we have uh, the site administrator and okay. then a uh, different uh, as I said, uh, a ta Tableau server administrator can also be a site administrator. We already talked on this. Yeah, right, right. right. And then uh, sites uh, will have a project leader, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, he manages the projects and he also take care of the groups. Mm -hmm. right? Groups is just number of uh, group of users. Right? Oh. And, and then uh, the project leader uh, also holds of the uh, the permissions uh, template uh, that is uh, which user or the which groups groups has to be given certain permissions and uh, uh, and in case any permission has to be uh, cancelled uh, it it is it is to be done by the project leader and then uh, the projects will have contents uh, contents as you know uh, the workbooks uh, views uh, data sources uh, and all and all the other uh, contents like uh, 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 published data sources or uh, views or uh, dashboard particularly called as workbooks so all the contents and again uh, it's taken care in here the owner is the publisher so once the uh, once a user gets the publisher access he'll be able to publish the workbooks right and a owner of the uh, particular workbook can also grant permissions to the users in order to whether they can see the workbooks or not and then uh, final the last level of hierarchy it's called uh, views uh, so views are the individual sheets or the uh, individual uh, graphs you can call it. and a group of views make a, a dashboard so an individual dashboard is also a view so let me just uh, uh, start the virtual machine i wanted to show you more on uh, the uh, the scripting part uh, the la the last session uh, uh, was on the taking the backup scheduling the jobs on the uh, scheduling uh, the jobs using the task schedule right mm -hmm. yeah so i'll show you more on how to write a detailed uh, script so these are the typical jobs of a tableau server uh, administrator uh, in case you want to schedule uh, a backup job and uh, you want to take a regular backup job and you want to schedule it okay so you need okay. to write a script like this let me connect Sure. Okay, so once once you log into a screen like this, uh, you will be able to see this uh, RDP connection. You just have to connect it. Click on the it downloads a dot RDP RDP file. Okay. And you say connect. What is the Azure? Azure is the uh, cloud. Yeah, yeah. Azure is the plat. Azure is the cloud services from uh, Microsoft. Okay. Like like we have web uh, AWS from Amazon. Uh, mm -hmm. This is from Microsoft. And here you can host any number of uh, services you want. Like uh, you can start your own databases. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay, it's connected now. Uh, yeah, usually you need to check here in the uh, website uh, whether this the status is running or not. So you can just click on this bell icon and you can see okay. it's successfully started. So let me show you the detailed uh, script of uh, how to write a script to properly log using uh, the dates as well just edit. Okay. so e okay. eco on uh, uh, indicates uh, the 
uh, the they are the, the script is ready to uh, log the files mm -hmm. and here you comment uh, comment or uh, the script is uh, just using uh, double quotations uh, sorry uh, double colons right mm -hmm. uh, then you just uh, comment it uh, this is how it's commented on the uh, batch file yeah, so okay. this is the batch this is the script for uh, keeping a full version of uh, the tableau server so it uh, and it it can be scheduled at uh, at the time that we want to using the task scheduler. Okay. So these commands are nothing but the step by step uh, commands that you uh, that we execute on Tableau server. So uh, first. Okay. So first uh, you need to uh, uh, move it to the C drive. And then mm -hmm. uh, you need to move to the bin directory using uh, CD. And then uh, you want to make sure that uh, the every backup file that you take, it has to be appended with today's uh, date, right? So how you do that is using the uh, the batch command. So date string equal to uh, modulus of uh, date. And then followed by 10 comma 4 uh, that is to give you the, uh, uh, the the year and then followed by the uh, uh, month and then the date so this is uh, this is the, uh, the, the what, kind of uh, so 10 yeah. is what 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 was your saying 10 is the the first uh, one the, yeah year followed uh -huh. by uh, the month and the day month and the day what about uh, Okay, I see. I'll, I'll show yeah. you once the, sure. once the script is uh, ready. I'll, I'll show you. How, okay. How it is. And here uh, you have to set the username and password uh, in two variables. So USR mm -hmm. is our uh, username and uh, PWD is our password. So we are setting it here. And you have to set uh, save uh, the path of the backup that you want to take. So this is our uh, bin directory. Uh, and this is the path uh, where we will save our backup file. And here the locks are the uh, yeah, where we are locking the every detail of uh, when the script has started and uh, when it has ended. Uh, so it's stored in this uh, directory. So these all directories are just uh, you have to create these directories and then you have to allocate the uh, path uh, to the script. And then uh, the file name uh, we set it as uh, Tableau Daily Backup. And the date string, this today's date uh, will be uh, will be appended to the backup uh, file. Okay. Okay. So okay. it's clear. So we'll have a backup name Tableau underscore daily backup uh, dot underscore uh, today's date uh, dot tsbak. That is uh, the backup the extension for the backup file. So the Tableau daily backup will be the default for every file you take backup. Only the date string will change. And then uh, we'll have the uh, the the log files uh, again to say by day by daily basis. So today's date is embedded dot and it will be made dot log. And uh, the backup backup name is again set to uh, file name dot tspak. Uh, so we'll have the, this string and we just set it to dot tsp. Backup. And then we have to log in. Uh, to uh, uh, Tableau admin uh, tab CMD login in case uh, in case uh, it's not the session is inactive because the backup it takes some so, some amount of time depending on the data source to keep the session uh, active so you have to log in again so we we'll, we we'll log in is tab CMD login uh, server is localhost uh, because it's on our uh, local machine followed by the username and the password. Uh, so here you we log the, uh, the status of the script. So uh, the backup is starting at this point of uh, data and time, uh, and the the tab CMD uh, cleanup. Uh, this is to clean all the uh, all the unnecessary files or the temporary files. Right. So we should monitor the space usage on the server in case you want to make more space available. Uh, we have to use the uh, tab cleanup command to remove the uh, log files, temporary files. Uh, so it automatically deletes all the files that are older than uh, seven days. Okay. Uh, okay. So so you it will it will give you the uh, detailed uh, step by step uh, process uh, step by step processes it's taking. Okay. So 
so this is where server uh, backup starts so sleep uh, 10 it it gives uh, a, a time gap of uh, time lapse of 10 uh, seconds uh, so that uh, so all the even after the backup is taken uh, the the session uh, is uh, active and then uh, to make sure that the session is again uh, it doesn't uh, exit after 10 seconds so we make sure the uh, we have a lapse time of 10 seconds and then we uh, we do the cleanup process so finally, uh, the tab admin backup file name uh, is is again uh, uh, locked, and then then and we just uh, finish uh, the backup script.